everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's time for my daily sketches. And in this video, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different than what we've been doing. And that is I'm gonna draw some more realistic uh, faces uh, versus, you know, the cartoony or caricature style monsters that I've been doing. Um, I just thought it would be kind of good. I think this is key to uh, adding interest to your character concepts and monster ideas is understanding like and drawing realistic or things from life, I should say, uh, drawings just to get an idea of like, I think it gives you a better idea of um, bone structure and how that affects, you know, what somebody looks like. And also, I think the biggest deal is making unique characters. So it's really easy to just draw the eyes a certain um, distance apart every time and the nose in the same spot every time. Uh, but practicing, you know, drawing real people is will help you so much in creating like like unique monsters. So understanding that flaws and you don't always have to do the exact same nose every time uh, is definitely key. So we are using reference for these, I'm just grabbing random faces from the internet and kind of just loosely looking at them and sketching. So uh, this first face, and a lot of times I'll just use faces and really not worry too much if it looks like the person, just whether or not like it looks like a believable person, if that makes sense. So this one's turning out fairly decent. Um, interesting thing about this person, they have very far apart eyes and uh, really sunken in cheeks, so that and very squinty eyes too. So it's important to look at like the individual characteristics of the face you're drawing um, and kind of pay attention to how those things, why they look the way they do. Uh, and this is also something I do a lot is just observe people that I see in public. I try not to stare creepily too often if I see somebody very unique, and it doesn't have to be like an attractive person, sometimes it's just, you know, an older person or somebody who has very unique features, um, will catch my eye. Uh, and yeah, I'll find myself just kind of studying them, you know, kind of thinking about like, like I said, what makes that person stand out? Like what makes them interesting looking? Some people are boring looking. Um, I'm fairly boring looking, I think, because I always get like, hey, you look so much like so-and-so. Uh, people mistake me for people all the time, so I must have a very ordinary face that's easily <laughs> mistaken um, for other people. So when I do see unique people, like I said, it's interesting to kind of look at them and pick out their features that you like. And then you can kind of use those features later on when you're designing characters. So this guy has like a beard or a mustache actually. And I'm going really fast with these. Um, like I said, this is just kind of practicing and making sure I'm observing the relationships of the nose, the mouth. This person has a very wide mouth as well, which makes them kind of interesting as well. eyes are always like adding detail around the eyelids and stuff. I like doing that versus just, you know, 
kind of doing the simplified version of things. This is where you can really focus on the details, the folds of the skin, things like that. I would say one of the things that helped me the most when I was drawing, when I was early on drawing and things like that was figure drawing is really amazing to see um, the spatial, like how things are separated and seeing it in space in real life. Uh, whether you're just drawing a friend or a family member or something like that, seeing things not flattened in a two dimensional space like a uh, photograph, I think helps a ton. It helps you see form really well, especially when you really focus on the light of something. Um, so I'm gonna call that guy good and move on to another person. This person has a kind of an interesting face. Kind of a smirk a little bit. I always try and figure out where the ears are at. One thing that helps me a ton. Uh, so I'll just finish out the head here because I feel like this is really important. So you can move the, head, the ears up and down this side of the head. Um, and if you put them up there, up high, the person is probably looking down it like their, their chin is tucked into their um, chest a little bit. And if their ears are lower on their head, it's more like they're, they've got their nose pointed up at you kind of thing um, so the angle of the head like indicating that with where the ears are placed is really something that I use a lot and I like uh, I, a lot of times when I'm drawing somebody that's one of the first things I start out with just to kind of see where I want to place those ears and then everything is based on the ears for me um, and then I'll go either the eyes or yeah, the eyes are normally, because you can get those really messed up. This person has a very long nose. But capturing the angle of the head is definitely um, important. You can kind of see things are just really loose and I don't know how long these are going to take. These are a little bit different than the drawings I was doing. Um, I really appreciate all the comments you guys are leaving, by the way, uh, in response to these videos. And a lot of you are saying how much they help you, which is always amazing for me to hear um, because I'm not sure. Like, so, you know, it's the internet. If people don't tell you, like I don't get to meet with you guys face to face and talk about this stuff. I just have to hope it's kind of being appreciated. And when you guys leave me comments saying that, you know, you really appreciate it and it's helping you, um, that's awesome. That really uh, makes me want to keep doing it. I will say that there is a selfish reason. I know um, I was reading a comment and uh, I'd have to look up. Look at the person who wrote it, but uh, talking about, you know, you're busy with life and kids and things like that. And it's really easy um, or it's really hard sometimes to find the time. But what has been helping me is including my kids in these videos is selfish in my, like, I want to spend more time with them. Like, I don't want to have to choose between making videos and spending time with my girls. So when I can do both, that helps a ton. Um, so, and plus, you know, working with my daughter so that she can achieve her goals and dreams someday when it comes to drawing, uh, maybe doing a career in it, something like that is extremely important to me. Uh, in my life, I found something that I love to draw or do, and that's create, it, create things, being a creative person, making money at it. Um, it takes a lot of time and dedication to get to a point where you can live a life where, you know, you get to do something you really enjoy. So the thing I hope for most is that they find something similar, whatever that may be, um, and that they work very hard at it so that they can have a fulfilling job and it doesn't feel like torture every time they go, have to go to work, but 
So yeah, that's kind of, you know, incorporating my daughter in these videos is awesome for me. And like I said, I hope to get my daughter Emery in there uh, in some of these as well. And then also my wife too. We have an idea to do some book characters. My wife loves to read. And um, I think something fun would be to uh, draw some characters from books because, you know, a lot of times those characters don't get imagined. Uh, same as like comic book characters and stuff. So. Draw a girl in this one. I started with the folds of the hair on this one. And again, I can't see the, the ears on this one, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but I would imagine they would be somewhere up here. A lot of times if I can't see them, I'll just put them in anyway. It helps me determine where the eyebrows are going to go. This person has very straight across eyebrows. And again, that's observing. Um, my wife has eyebrows that are very straight across. So those are the little things you pick up on when you observe people enough. You start to see little things that like make them unique. So if I ever want like a character um, that has like eyes that are straight across, that's, or eyebrows that are straight across, that's like a unique look. So. It's just something to differentiate. That angle on that chin was a little off. She has like a round nose. Um, so yeah, I do all kinds of different types of drawing too. Um, and this is, uh, I enjoy drawing people a lot. So, and a lot of times, you know, I doodle a lot throughout the day. I don't know if you guys do, but I doodle constantly. Um, so I do little drawings like this all the time, but I don't really show people. Like a lot of times, like if I post something to Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you wouldn't see a lot of these drawings, my doodle drawings that I do. Just, you know, you don't post everything. But as you can see in these characters, each one of them looks very different. This person's eyes are very high up in their eyelids. Um, the hair. One thing I need to start doing, uh, is uh, really focusing on where my light sources are as far as um, doing different light sources. I always do the same default light source uh, and I do that just to save time because thinking about where lighting is and everything like that takes time. Um, and like I've said a hundred million times, so I'm trying to keep these videos around 20 minutes. It's just gonna make it to where it's a lot more doable time-wise for me. Like tonight I have basketball that I'm gonna go to. Uh, my daughter's had soccer practice yesterday. So I'm always trying to find like, you know, that extra few minutes here and there to do stuff. But really what you're seeing here is, you know, just very unique characters, unique faces that are not generic. That's what, that's the goal of this is to just um, keep things interesting, draw characters that have different faces and to focus on the things that make each one of them different. Let's see what time we're at, 16 minutes. So I got a few more minutes, probably enough time to do one more. One thing I'll do sometimes as well is just darken up the eyes and some of the more um, distinctive features so that I can uh, like finish up the character's face a little bit. The 
mouth line like that. That jawline's a little bit hard for a woman. You can really see when I do this, it really makes the face kind of come alive a little bit more. Pushes all those other little red lines back um, so that, you know, you have focal points on the face. Get his goatee kind of finished up a little bit. Okay, so let's do one more face and then we'll call it good. Um, let's see, let's find a really interesting one. Let's go with him. I have, have a more round face. Ears are a lot lower. the eyes in. Yeah, he has a very round face. Um, and then, you know, drawing different ethnicities as well is definitely something that you want to focus on. Um, you see big differences between the races and things that make them unique. Uh, other than just skin color and things like that. It really helps you, you know, when you focus on their features, helps you uh, understand a little bit more about how unique the human face is. All the different nose shapes, things like that, just add to the variety that makes it makes it really fun to draw faces because they're so unique. That's why I think I love drawing faces um, like this. Is you really get a, an appreciation for just how much variety there is. It's crazy that we all. I mean, we can look at somebody, yeah, people look similar, but I swear it's like really hard to find unless it's identical twins, identical matches. And these, um, you know, these real-time drawing videos, uh, you guys get to see, you know, my process and you get to trust that what I'm doing is, you know, I mean, it's really easy. I could easily get an app where if I wanted to just impress the internet, uh, where I can mirror from my cell phone or something like that, a person's face onto paper, you guys would never know that's what I was doing, just so you know. Um, if people want to do that and create cool art, all oh, that's totally their business. I do not judge any artist for things like that. Um, but I've been getting advertisements lately for like cell phone apps where I could easily just trace all the faces that I'm looking at. Um, and, uh, no one would ever know. It's like a mirror or something. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but... I'm not saying, in fact, any tool is great if you for making the art you want to make. I've always said that, like, if you have a vision, art is really just the vehicle to make that vision come to life, you know, to bring it into the world, whether you're creating a, a cool cartoon 
or you're just drawing because you love to draw and it's fun, you want to make interesting things. For me, it's always been, you know, the fun of taking the things I learned from these faces and making interesting characters out of them. Uh, so I might be able to take some of the features of this guy or her and make a really cool looking monster. Um, so, and I do that in my brain. And if I was just tracing the whole time, I would never learn how to do that. I would only be able to use images that are already created. So for me, it doesn't really serve a purpose to trace. The game of the game for me is not to really impress. It is to have fun and use my imagination. So, um, but anyway, I think I'm right at 20 minutes. So that's the video, you guys. I hope you like this one. Just sketching out some random faces. Uh, and this is great practice for anyone just to, you know, practice drawing what you see, things like that. I would definitely suggest doing this from life, which I'll probably do with my wife or my kids at some point, where I just draw them sitting in front of me, because um, I think that helps a ton. Uh, but again, I appreciate all the comments you guys are leaving and feedback that I'm getting on these videos. I'm gonna keep doing them until I don't do them anymore. So, but I think daily sketches and things like this is gonna be great for me. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.